Many people have important life decisions to make and are not sure how to go about it. Hey, David, you ready to start? I think so. I really need some help figuring out what to do. I understand. Like I told you on the phone, we'll work through this together. We'll figure out all of your options and then sort out what it is that you want to do. Well, that's just it. I don't know what it is that I want to do. I know I don't like things the way they are now, but I don't want to mess things up again. Let's just take it step by step. Okay, so have you looked in the workbook yet? This decision support workbook provides a tool to help a person gather good information, consider the input of others, and take the time to think through what is most important to them. I really want to move out. I'm 35 years old and I live with my mother. I really want to be out on my own. When David moved out on his own 10 years ago, it didn't go very well. He forgot to pay his rent, he had his power shut off, he stayed alone by himself day after day and didn't go out. He just wasn't ready for it. So, this workbook can help you with any decision. It'll take us through step by step. So let's just look at some of the questions and then talk about them for a minute. What is the problem or situation? What do you want to achieve? Well, I just really think it's time for me to move out and be on my own. But I don't want to backslide like I did before. Well, what is it that you want to change? Well, the steps in the workbook form the word trip map. So the workbook guides you through the process. Thinking, research, identifying the options, weighing the pluses and minuses of each option, action planning, and pondering the results of the decision. People can reduce the stress of making a decision and make better choices by using the workbook to explore their situation and options. I wrote all my options on the chart. Let's take a look at that. There's do nothing, stay where I am, mm -hmm. living with my mother. Um, I could move away, but like really far away, like to another city. Or I could move away, but stay in the same town as my mom. So, in all of these move-out options, are you alone? Yes. And how do you feel about that? Well, I was stuck about what to do. Then Rachel helped me see some options I hadn't yeah, I thought about before. Then yeah. uh, we sorted out all the pluses and minuses for all the options, and I rated how important they are to me. The workbook provides a simple system to help a person consider the possible effects of each option, both for themselves and the others in their lives. Well, I think my mom likes to have me help out around the house. Mm -hmm. She might need help if I move away. That makes sense. And having to remember to pay my own bills and do all my own shopping is really hard. But on the plus side, I'd have more freedom to come and go as I please, or have friends over. That's really important to me. Right. There's a companion workbook and other tools that peer specialists like me use when we're helping someone to make a decision. There's conversation starters and other strategies to use. Well, it sounds like you're really weighing the pluses and minuses of moving out on your own or staying with your mom. So let's talk about what we can do to address the minuses or the worries. Well, I'm really worried about how my mom will feel. Mm. Did you ever think about scheduling visits oh, so you can help her with the chores? No, but I could do that. Yeah, I think she'd like that too. Uh, it's pretty cool because in going through the workbook and talking about things, I was able to come up with ideas about ways to handle stuff that I thought was going to be a problem. By considering the potential consequences of each option, the person can both arrive at a decision and create a plan for how to implement it. Well, once I made a decision, I was scared about how to even get started. But it's really cool. The workbook has this action plan. Rachel and I just wrote out what all the steps were. Well, I'll start looking online for apartments that I can afford. Then I'll start sorting through my things and packing up. The workbook and the companion guide help the person to identify and prioritize the steps involved in implementing the decision and how to talk to the other people in their lives about the decision. Oh, here's one that might work. Where is it? My mom has taken this pretty well. The workbook had some tips for talking about my decision. When David showed me the list he made in the workbook, all the pluses and minuses, I started to see how important it was to him. I'm not making the decisions for people. I'm facilitating the process. The workbook calls this the trip map, and it really is a journey. 
It feels really good to work through this and to know everything that's going on. I'm no longer scared I'm gonna mess things up anymore. I just wrote down everything that could go wrong and I have a plan for how to deal with it. I think this is gonna work.